Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today what we'll be doing is talking about my history with graphics cards over the past few years, as well as why I'm going to be switching from the XTX Trio to this 4080 Super. Alright, so let's get into this here and we'll start explaining the huge differences between these two after I give you guys a quick rundown of what I've been through. So it was about 2020, I think, maybe the end of 2019, somewhere around there, I bought my first actual gaming PC from my local PC shop, Sprite Computers. They are an awesome PC shop and have done nothing but been amazing with customer service, which is really the only thing I care about when dealing with people. We set this up, we put this in my system and built a PC, and for the next year or so, I had fun and I also didn't have fun. Obviously, having a 4 gig card that was meant for 1080p gaming, it was it not the best experience to have, even though it was in 2020. I would have much rather spent an extra couple hundred bucks on one of the 2060 Supers or something like that, whatever they are. I never had any experience with the 2000 series cards. So the next thing I did was I ended up going to the same shop um, about when they came out. And I got a 3070 EVG, EVGA FTW3 Ultra. And the thing that I thought would be so awesome about this card was that I had twice the gigabytes of VRAM on a way more powerful card. Little did I know, less than two months later, I would be taking in the 3070 due to the lack of VRAM in the games that I play. And I went in and I got the 3080 the 3080 12 gig and again this card was much better and I had a great time with it and it lasted me a pretty long time <coughs> excuse me and I ended up selling this card and that's when I bought the XTX now this card is hands down an excellent card in its own self with its own specs outside of any issues that you'll have. The specs on this card for its price are very good. Now here's the thing. I always owned NVIDIA cards. I made the switch to an XTX and now I'm deciding let's get the 4080 Super because what happens here is I make the switch to the XTX, right? And this is where we started to experience problem after problem problem after problem after problem again and let me start off by saying when I got the XTX I wanted to play some new and old games and some old games like Forza Horizon 3 had issues until driver updates ended up coming out and all the rainbow lights and flickering was off of those games it did get fixed but that was my first problem I couldn't even play one of the games that I wanted to play when I bought this card despite it being an older game so that wasn't cool and then as we move on, I start seeing more games coming out with things like DLSS3 and ray tracing, path tracing, ray tracing reconstruction, all that stuff. And I find that my own belief is the NVIDIA cards will just run better and be more compatible. Which brings me to my next point, the AMD Adrenaline software on my XTX it crashes once in a while if my game crashes because the game crashes the software detects that the game has crashed and to save the GPU it resets everything to default super annoying don't want to disable it don't want to have my GPU at risk in case I do forget to do something and it is running hot it shouldn't reset all my settings every single time a game crashes and that brings me to my next point of why do my games even crash so much to begin with with this card. Every other day I'm playing a game and my game will crash. Now it's usually newer games and it takes a while for it to get fixed. It's very very annoying. Imagine going to hop on a new game expecting excellent performance and then your game crashes for no reason. And the other thing about this card is I don't play any games ever, man, that are hitting over 8, 10, 12 gigs of VRAM unless I'm doing something that doesn't make any sense, like playing in a no-hezzy Assetto Corsa server with 90 cars or something like that, 
where you don't have enough VRAM to run anything on there anyway because it's using 18 gigs of VRAM on your card. So with that being said, um, the other thing is the streaming software that I use. My streams lag, my videos don't come through clear anymore all the time, my Elgato streaming equipment does not work with the AMD software for some reason, it says it's always in use and I can't figure out why. So that's another thing. Now, let's talk about the good thing about this card, is it's an excellent card to just boot up and play a game in native resolution and turn down some settings and get good FPS and good performance. That's where this card is good. And in my opinion, that's only really where this card is good. Most people are going to run some type of upscale. Most type of people want to do some type of ray tracing on a game that offers it. And if you want to get the best out of your games with all of the technologies that are coming out or that are out, I do believe you will enjoy something like a 4080 Super more. Now, because I believe that, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make that switch. I'm going to do that today, and I'll be back eventually. And then hopefully I made the right decision. So I'll get back, and I will let you guys know how this change is going. And if it's better, if it's worse, if I'm noticing any really bad FPS increases or decreases. And we're just going to go ahead and take a little look and see what happens with this card. Mind you, I will be able to return this card if needed and get something else like a different 4080 Super or a highest tier XTX or maybe even a 4090. Not sure how this is going to go yet. But that's an update for everybody. This is what I'm doing. I'm getting the 4080 Super. I'm ditching the XTX. I know a lot of people, you know, they're questioning it. I'm questioning it. I think everybody that's making a decision like this is questioning it. It's not an easy decision to make, all right? Nobody can sit there and deal with a thousand or two thousand dollars on similar products and just kind of hope one's better and, and deal with the technologies that come with one over another one. But that's what we're doing, so... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, guys. We'll be back soon. And uh, hopefully we'll be back later today with a fresh copy of Windows and the new 4080 Super to start testing content and seeing how everything's going. Have a good day, everybody. Take care. Stay gaming. That's why I'm making the switch ever since I did. Instabilities with AMD. Never had an issue with NVIDIA. I'd like to go back. I'd like to see how it's going to work. Have a good day, everybody. Take care.